All right, I'm back, and so now for our final segment in our review for the Unit 4 lecture exam is going to be, tell me where did the, the elements in the periodic table of elements come from? And it comes from basically three places. So number one, the Big Bang. So we think that when the universe first formed, it started out as a kernel of energy incredibly small and incredibly hot. And then as it expanded, it expanded space and time and cooled off to everything that you see today. So the, the initial Big Bang created hydrogen and helium. So roughly 75% hydrogen and roughly 25% helium were formed during the Big Bang. Okay, secondly, that hydrogen and helium became the fuel for stars. So the hydrogen and helium was floating around. It started to collapse because of gravity and it started to heat up. When, once it reached a certain temperature, then hydrogen started to be converted into helium through nuclear fusion. But eventually a star will start to run out of hydrogen and then the nuclear explosions will start to die down and then the, the star will start to collapse because of gravity again. But as it collapses it heats up again. So if the temperature gets high enough, helium can be fused into carbon. And then if the temperature, and so eventually the helium starts to run out and it collapses and the carbon, if the temperature gets high enough, the carbon can be converted into an even heavier element in the periodic table. So the elements from helium through iron are created in stars as they are dying. Now once it makes iron, that's really, really bad because then when it collapses and you fuse the iron, nothing happens. So there's no more nuclear explosions to keep gravity at bay. So then the star is going to collapse and it's going to explode as a supernova. And that supernova is going to generate so much energy, it will be able to fuse even larger elements in the periodic table, like uranium, for example. So normally, uh, it, uh, with uranium, it wants to undergo fission and then release energy. But you can take elements and smash them together as long as you give it enough energy you can create uranium so that the elements up to iron are created as, an, as, as a star is dying and then through the supernova explosion you created the elements uh, larger than iron on the periodic table. Okay, so that's what I want you to know. These are the formulas that I'm going to give you on the exam but you've got to know what the letters are and you need to know how to use the formulas. So I wish you luck on your exam and then again if you're one of my at least a dozen people that watch me from all over the world so if you're one of those people then stay tuned because I am eventually going to be making some more uh, physics uh, videos for you. So until then, goodbye.